Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. But for this episode of Let's Talk Jinx, it's the patch day. But however, there was a holiday in the state, so it pushed everything one day over. So while the patch notes are probably going to drop at some point today, it's going to be super late. So we'll just go off of Surrender at 20 patch notes, which also are subject to change by the time the patch actually drops. But because it's a Jinx video, of course, we're going to just focus on the things that might affect Jinx specifically anyways. And that will make this probably incredibly shorter of a video. So here we go. Like Blitzcrank, for example, he is a support champion that you might play with or against. On his Q, the damage is being increased from 90 to 120, 205 to 305, and the R damage is being increased from 250 to 500 to 275 to 525. Meaning that if you get hooked, for example, it's going to be a bit more damage in itself. And with Blitzcrank, unlike Thresh, people tend to max the Q as well like with thresh you actually like put a point in the hook but you max the e because all the damage you can have on the e uh, blitzcrank's the opposite you just max the hook and so it's going to hurt even more now when this is the damage that's being increased on it not including anything else they're probably not building ap to cheese you but still it's going to be a, a quite a bit of damage especially even in the early game the R damage is interesting too, because it also silences and stuff, and that could be interesting to uh, deal with. But one thing I will note about Blitzcrank, if you're playing against the Blitzcrank, the hook has a cooldown. It, it, it can be like a little bit of a worrying ability, because if you do get hooked, you might just straight up die, uh, especially if you're a Jinx. But, mind you, there is a cooldown, so if he goes up to you and he misses that hook, punish him. Attack him back. He can't just fire another hook out of nowhere. The thing's going to be on a cooldown for at least, I say the rule is, act like a good 7 to 10 seconds, depending on how the cooldown is, especially as the game goes on. But especially in laning phase, that sucker is on a cooldown for quite some time. So make him regret missing that hook by chunking down his health every time. So, if we keep going down, Janna, you know, Janna could be a support. The move speed is being lowered from 6 to 12% to 6 to 10%. The slow is lowered from 24 to 40% to 20 to 36%. And the shield strength is going from 75 to 175, 60% AP to 65 to 165, plus 55% AP. They're basically nerfing Janna, her ability to the move speed, her slows, and her shield strength. Apparently, she was a bit too strong at what she did. So if you're playing with one, she'll be able to protect you a little less. But if you're playing against one, she'll also be able to protect your opponent a little less. And that could be nice. Yeah, uh, Lucian, actually. The base AD is being lowered from 62 to 60, and the Q damage is being lowered from 95 to 235 to 95 to 215. So after the durability changes and stuff like that, Lucian was a champion that has actually kind of still been around since before that time. He was banned at MSI, etc. Looks like this is some of the changes they're giving him a pass on. So with the base AD being lowered, it means like at level 1 even, he's going to be slightly weaker. And the damage being lowered on his Q, which is the one that can actually go through minions, you can use minions to line it up to still hit you, is going to hit for a little bit less, but later in the game. Uh, early in the game, it's still 95, so it's still the same damage like at level 1, so be careful about that. So for the most part, the Lucian matchup is going to go exactly the same, because the base AD is more going to target his ability to last hit. That's what's going to mess up more, his ability to last hit those minions. Um, it's going to be slightly off in the early game, and try and put him behind that way, but fighting him is going to be exactly the same, so there you go. Seraphine, meanwhile, the E cooldown is being changed from 11 to 9 to 10, and the CC duration is being increased from 1 to 1.5. That's a little nice if you've ever played with or as Seraphine, and it just felt like the, the team did not only not follow up, but it's because it didn't really feel like they had the time to follow up. Uh, they're going to actually be stunned for a, a little bit longer. That's kind of cool. And the cooldown being changed to just a flat number can work as well. Um, but if you're playing against this, be mindful that you're going to be locked up for a second and a half if you do not dodge this. So you do want to make sure... Uh, you use the minion waves, you, I don't want to say like use your support, but at the same time, you know, do what you gotta do to survive. Uh, you're Jinx, you're one of the slower 80 carries in the game, do not get hit by this, you will die in 1.5 seconds, alright? But if you're playing with this, it's nice because you can lock this, lip, lock this up, or lock an opponent up with the flame choppers afterwards, so you know, they uh, get stunned for 1.5 seconds, you throw the flame choppers out near immediately, but not immediately, so you don't stack the CC, you chain it, and someone can just be locked up for like 3 full seconds now, and it's, they're just going to be really annoyed, and probably die, and there you go. Soraka, the healing's increased from 125 to 275 to 150 to 350, but no longer removes Grievous Wounds. Well, that's just annoying. I've been having this vendetta against Riot and how they've been doing Grievous Wounds for a while. We're just going to skip that one because that's that's annoying. Jeez, all right. Yumi, the shield value increased from 56 to 360 to 60 to 380, and the E base health lowered from 70 to 190 to 70 to 150. So Yumi is going to be AFK, but also the shield value, while being increased, the heal is going to be doing less. 
So at least you got that going for you. The shield's going to be more, but the healing's going to be less, which is why they keep hitting things like Grievous. I get it, I get it, I get it, by the way. That's why they're doing things like hitting Grievous wounds, because, you know, healing and shielding is, you know, lower. I don't care. I'm just going to be honest. I don't care. I still feel like if we're building Grievous wounds items, it doesn't feel like it's good at all against the healing that can be in this game at this point but uh that's more of a personal opinion for this patch though that is everything that could possibly affect jinx mainly other ad carries and support changes uh quick note of course at the very top here is the snow moon skins it's like the snow version of the blood moon skins uh while there's kane and alawi which you probably won't deal with in laning phase there's also caitlin which you probably might deal with in laning phase so you might be laning against caitlin at least for the first couple of days when the patch drops because people are going to want to be able to play the skin if they main Caitlyn or just like that skin. So there you go. The Caitlyn Jinx matchup. Neither champion was changed this patch, however. So keep that in mind. But that's all from this video. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know which video will be next. Because life can have a lot of kinks. So until next time, take care. GG, get jinxed. Thank you for watching. And enjoy pizza responsibly.